see here, I'm walking here on Paris Drive right now. Uh, going a little bit ways down here to take a look at these trees. And uh, definitely something to be concerned about is the weight and capacity on these trees. As we see here in Kings Mountain. Uh, right now, I said, I'm not sure about school cancellation or not. But just take a look at these roadways. You can barely see these. How uh, people are still trying to make their way through here. Uh, and we're going to continue on monitoring the condition here in Kings Mountain. Uh, right now, we're having freezing rain and sleet that is falling right now. Take a look at this right here. As you can barely even see uh, some of... Uh, have to get in some more light but i tell you it's coming down pretty heavily right now the winds of adam is blowing 19 miles per hour which is going to be very treacherous and uh, dangerous to go out on the road as well now the city of kings mountain i believe they are working on the roads and um, clearing them off i hear some of the city trucks out and about here right now uh, but we are going to continue on giving you up to date for you too and Ustream.com reporter Ron Owens for Venture House Daily Newscast. Take a look at this out here. Uh, we we'll look up high up in the sky. You can see a lot of clouds, very dark clouds, and um, some daylight's trying to break through as well. And I'm going to try to go down to this street here and show you more if I can. And just take a look at these trees here, uh, full of accumulated snow heavy trees also it looks like some trees has already been knocked down due to the weight of uh we definitely got to be very careful as we're traveling about here walking about skiing here uh, taking pictures and absorbing everything else because trees are still uh weighed over to the uh, uh snow and ice that may be accumulating upon I'm going to walk down just a little bit farther here at this corner of the stop sign street here. I'm not sure what street it is, but we're on the T home. Following here. So we get a better shot of these main roadways that leads to uh, school system, school here in Kings Mountain. Like I said, take a look at these roadways. You see, some people are trying to travel about out in here and uh, taking family out and about for food. Now, I tell you, the National Weather Service, they say six to 10 inches of snow accumulation is expected to fall here in Kings Mountain and the surrounding areas of North Carolina. This street right here, I got the street um, line here. It says here, Paris Drive and Gantt street here get a little closer view of that this is on the stop sign here on Paris Drive now take a look this road now this road looks pretty pretty good right now but the main the road leaving on Paris Drive which right here you can see also my tracks is not that up to part now the main road here that leads to uh, Gant Street here in Kings Mountain uh, you can see, take a look at this, the roads here. It's pretty clear for right now, but that's the problem. When people are coming down from this direction here, coming down past the city of Kings Mountain, on uh, water plant and everything, uh, take a look right now, as we see, uh, that road is just pretty clear. But off-roads off -roads and other, other of roads may seem needs to be cleared as well. Now, when you're coming down off this road right here, as you can see, uh, be very careful. Drive very slow because it's actually some black blood ice is lingering here in the area. This is Ron Owens reporting for Vince House Daily Newscast and Ustream.com. And here's some people also, also driving around and about here and taking their time here, as we see. It, it, the road seems pretty okay to drive up on. This is Ron O's reporting for Vince House Daily Newscast and broadcast on YouTube.com.